Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Representatives of the government of Western Armenia in the History Museum of Western Armenia, Mother Goddess Maryam from Anahit, International Exhibition. Mr. Armenak Abrahamian's condolence speech regarding the events in Lebanon. Azerbaijan is living illegally in Artsakh, are destroying Armenian houses. We will definitely return home and build our independent and strong Artsakh, Mikhail Hajian. Sons of Western Armenia, Charlie Papazian. On the occasion of the 109th anniversary of the heroic Battle of Mount Musa, Governor of Armavir and Ambassador de Cotini participated in the festival event. Dense fog and frost reduced visibility in Artahan and Kars. The number of victims of Israel bombings in Lebanon reached 558, including 50 children. The representatives of the government of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosian, President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Nelly Harutsunyan, the Chairwoman of the National Assembly, visited the History Museum of Armenia. The visit coincides with the international large-scale exhibition entitled Mother Goddess, Mariam from Anahit, organized with the support of the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of Armenia, the Republic of Armenia Embassy in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and the Embassy of the United Kingdom in Armenia. Their participation highlighted the importance of preserving, valuing and returning Armenian heritage to Armenian culture, emphasizing international attention and solidarity. Goddess Anahit had the basic role for Western Armenia. She was the goddess of fertility, motherhood and love, patronizing agriculture and family well-being. In the old Armenian regions of Western Armenia, especially in the area of Zerzangan Arches, Anahit has honored as an integral part of her Armenian life and nature. Anahit is the symbol of the spiritual roots and fate of the Armenian people. For the residents of Western Armenia, she represents the strength of the Armenian woman, the sanctity of motherhood, and the preservation of national identity. Her image is considered the embodiment of Armenian national values, which makes Anahit an object of respect and worship in the territories of Western Armenia. President Armenak Abrahamian's condolence speech regarding the events in Lebanon. The President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, is following the situation in Lebanon with concern and expresses his deepest condolences to the families of all the victims of Israel, large-scale attacks. President especially emphasizes that Lebanon, with its rich history and cultural heritage, has always had a special place in the hearts of the Armenian people. He assures again that at this difficult moment, the Armenian people stand by the Lebanese people, wishing for peace, endurance, and patience. Let's remember that the mass strikes of Israel aviation that started on Monday morning caused deep damage to the settlements of southern and eastern Lebanon. Dozens of villages and regional settlements were attacked, as a result of which many civilians were injured. At the same time, Hezbollah forces fires rockets towards northern Israel, increasing tensions in the region. Azerbaijan is living illegally in Artsakh, are destroying Armenian houses. Information is spread on Azerbaijani social networks that some Azerbaijanis living illegally in Artsakh, occupied by Aliyev's regime, are returning to Baku. Many people use the houses of Armenians as a source of income, damaging or destroying them with the aim of eliminating the Armenian cultural trace. The government of Azerbaijan is not still able to control this process. Azerbaijan users on social networks complain about the slow transfer of local residents, claiming that Azerbaijan soldiers did not die because of it. It's also known that raids and houses scissors are possible in Artsakh. This process is aimed at the rejecting the history and culture of Artsakh, which the international community must condemn. A symbolic event took place in the Yerablur Pantheon, where a monument was found dedicated to the memory of our heroes who died in the Artsakh Liberation War. This was announced by Artsakh journalist, writer and father of two victims, Mikhail Hajian. He addressed all the boys remaining in Artsakh, assuring them that we will all definitely return stand up for our native land, their graves and Artsakh civilizational values. 
Charlie Papazian, one of the sons of Western Armenian, is the founder of home brewing in America and continues to be an important person for both individual brewers and the entire beer industry, said brewer Jamie Barlow. Charlie Papazian is the author of a book, The Complete Joy of Home Brewing, that inspired home brewers across the United States to revolutionize the home brewing industry. Papazian grew up in New Jersey, then moved to Colorado when he started home brewing. There, he authored his famous book, which was first published in 1984 and later reprinted several times. Today, private breweries have completely transformed the image of American beer production, and many of them trace their origins back to Papazian and his book. In addition to inspiring millions of people with his book, Papazian also founded the Brewers Association, an organization created to promote private brewing. He also co-founded the largest beer festival in the United States, the Great American Beer Festival. Today, David Khudatsyan, governor of Armavi region, visited the Musa Mountain Heroic Battle Memorial with the French ambassador, an extraordinary and plenipotentiary to Eastern Armenia, Olivier de Cotinium, regional community leaders and guests. They participated in the festive event dedicated to the 109th anniversary of the Musa Mountain Heroic Battle. A traditional event, which is celebrated every year on the third Sunday of September, brought Musala residents and guests visiting the Parakar community with traditional dish, harissa, song and dance. At the end of the event, the governor tasted traditional harissa with the tendis, which is one of the symbols of the day and is prepared every year the night before the holiday. Dense fog in Ardahan and cars has drastically reduced visibility. In the center of Ardahan, the severe cold at night was replaced by dense fog in the morning hours, which spread particularly densely in the area of the Kuja River and Ardahan Castle. Due to the fog, the cobwebs were covered with droplets and the whole city was filled with the white mist. Fog also prevailed in Sarikamish town of cars and the plants were covered with the white layer. After two days of rain, the temperature in cars dropped to 6 degrees at night. As a result of the Israel air strikes on the settlements in the south and east of Lebanon, the number of the victims has reached already 558. Firas Abia, the Minister of Health attached to the provisional government of Lebanon, informed the journalist about this. Earlier, it became known about 492 victims and 1,645 wounded. The death toll from Israel as strikes in various areas of the Lebanon has reached 558, including 50 children and 94 women, Abiyad said. It should be noted that on September 23, 492 people were killed as a result of Israeli air strikes in the direction of Lebanon. As the Guardian notes, this is the highest daily death toll since the end of the civil war. Israel declares that during the escalation of the conflict with Hezbollah, it hit 1,300 targets, tens of thousands of people left their homes. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you peace and harmony. Goodbye.